The idea behind developing um, this particular tool which captures the wide benefits of learning was that there was already so much evidence out there um, and it was kind of about how to bring it all together because there was so little data available um, from communities, so the kind of hard facts or data, so that it was already there. There's anecdotal evidence, but it's like how to bring it together um, in a way that kind of, I suppose, has an impact on people who aren't necessarily directly involved, community education, funders, and so on. So the idea was that it was time to start recording data, but for learners themselves to give a bit of a, um, I suppose, it shows learners, you know, how, how much they're kind of gaining from it, and it allows learners to self-reflect. Um, and I suppose it gives you a bit of a buzz as well when you see how, how much um, you've kind of improved over time or how much people have learned. For the communities themselves and I suppose that they can use for funders. For tutors and I suppose that again there's a kind of motivation factor in there as well for tutors um, and then for funders as well to show that, this, that the work is actually having an impact. Um, the kind of background to developing the research it came from um, the, or the, the process actually started, it was community education tutors were, were brought together and um, they were doing curriculum development training. Um, the focus of, of this and the, fo the tutors that were involved in this were mainly involved in non-certified courses, but the actual um, the tool can be used um, with accredited programs as well, but this, all this research was done with tutors who were delivering non-certified courses. Um, and the assessment tool is two-sided. It's focused on the subject-related outcomes and then the wider benefits of learning as well. So like, you were able to get a picture of how much somebody had benefited in terms of their skill in a particular course, but also the wider benefits um, in terms of their own <coughs> personal development, community, the, the, the impact on the community, their families, and so on, and as well as ed education and training. The benefits of this um, particular model, and again, Catherine will go into the details on, because I suppose we were going to jump a little bit ahead, but she'll go into the details on how it's used and the actual um, tool itself. That it was something easy for um, tutors and learners to use. So it, it's, quite, it's, it's quite an easy template, it's, it's easy enough to explain. Um, it also helps tutors to understand why the learners have come to the courses, and it helps to develop the yeah. courses they've come to as well, because they're negotiating with the learners from the start on the outcomes of the um, of the program, and that has an impact then on um, when they're actually filling out how how well they have done and so on, um, and their objectives for the program. It allows learners, <coughs> pardon me, to reflect on the results of their participation in learning. So it's a good opportunity for learners as well to sit back and reflect and to see that how much they have actually achieved over the period of the program or the course. Um, it adds value and richness to the learning experience that speaks for itself and it provides useful data on the impact of learning which can be used um, to show the effectiveness. So again, it's not just necessarily about funders but it is useful to have it and <coughs> it's useful, again, I suppose in terms of motivation and everything else for learners, tutors um, and coordinators and so on. So there was, I suppose, the, Kind of speaking to the converted here, so that I won't go through everything here. But I suppose a lot of the evidence when the tutors came together to do the training initially, they um, kind of discussed and brainstormed around what they had experienced, the impact of community education on them was, and there was I suppose there were so many different um, impacts here, and they kind of naturally broke down into four different areas. So you had personal development culture, community and family, education, employment and enterprise, and health and well-being. And those four areas were used then when learners were asked to document the impact that um, a particular course has on them. And that was part of the wider benefits um, side of the um, analysis. In using the actual um, tool that the uh, tutors were asked initially to brainstorm with um, the adult learners in the group. And, it, and t I suppose, that could, you know, could be part of focus group and initially just discussing with the group what they actually hope to achieve from the programme. So that, again, that was part of the learners identifying their own needs at the beginning and what they wanted to achieve. And it was a good opportunity for the learners to have an impact on the development of the programme itself. So they were asked to set up group learning outcomes. Um, for each course that they ran, then you'd have a minimum of three 
was asked, requested maybe they'd have a minimum of three outcomes and maybe up to five outcomes, and then they would rate um, how they had done in each of the outcomes at the end of the program. Um, and then it, the idea is to reflect on their learning and the wider benefits to them. So it's to reflect on the actual learning, the skill set, and then the wider <coughs> benefits to them and their community and so on, and family situation. Um, and then I suppose for the tutors and, and the scholars <coughs> to collect and review the information and then to collate it. Um, so there was training involved, and again, that would be part of if, if you know, people want information on it, it would be part of the pack um, as to how this was done. There was data spreadsheets, there was templates developed to actually collect and collate all the information. This is the, the tool they use, this template tool that they use. Um, so compare where you are now, where you at the start and where you are now, and it's circa from one to ten. Okay, so so we say this is an example then of the outcome. Let's say they might have, you know, my first I have improved my colour. It's an art class. Um, I have expanded my Irish vocabulary. So what they did was at the it was say they picked the three at the three or so there's five there five outcomes, and then we say I think it was about the second last class maybe uh, of the course. Um, they came together and with the tutors' help, they actually looked at you know um, where was I when I started. You know, because having gone through the course, you have to actually look back and see, yeah, was I, I, did I know how to turn on, you know, to draw or to do whatever. So it was either, you know, so a lot of them would have gone and say, you know, and you can see three, you know, small numbers. And as they went up then, and say, towards the end of the course, then they looked at where they were now. So that's basically what that part of it was, that side of it was, we say, just a kind of looking at um, their skills and what they'd learned, say, if you take a knitting class or something like that, we'll say, where some learners going in think they're just going to do knitting and you know they learn a skill but then they looked at the other side of it as well which was the wider benefits and uh, I remember actually going into one class when they were actually doing it I was actually visiting creative writing class and it was funny what they were coming up with even in class you know and it was explained to the this part here so, uh, come to people down leave their junior search you know they, they, and, and it was just by the tutor explaining you know each of these what it meant you know, to, to, to you know, personal learning and kind of round the discussion amongst themselves, they could see where they were coming from, you know. And if you see, this was sample that was given then, you know, of, you know, I started walking down every day, I went to the doctor, and that kind of my future plans for education then was, you know, a few less ready to attending court. That kind of stuff would say, you know, rather than thinking academically, do you know that kind of thing? This then was the, the spreadsheet, would say, for the you know, they did the positive stuff where they say where they want to be. Yeah, my, my, this is the one. I would like to be better listen to my children. This was the Good Talking, which was a program to do with youth and, and working with your own children at home. And, you know, so if you see there, like, you know, most of them know 4.5, 5.2, and then after, they had more confidence to actually build up, to build up over the course. And, that was a yoga class, and a yoga class took me along to sit, you know, do their yoga, go home. So this was a way of them actually interacting with each other as well, you know. And again, I, I mean, this one is interesting because it's very low numbers in the beginning, and you would in the beginning as yoga come in very low, and they had actually gone up, their fitness had gone up. Um, and this then was a kind of a word that was done from the the the, 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 the clouds, as they call them, would say, and these were the, the the what came out of you know the the, the bigger words were what came up in the words most prominent in the word in, in the, the cloud pieces as we say and uh, the smaller ones then and you know you can see the different things new people say like learn, you know, um, conscious selection, that was kind of I'd say that was an only community type of course.